Welcome to Mango Presentation Maker. Now let's get to know Mango PM. Starting Mango PM, the home screen appears, which includes several areas, sign in, search field, project creation field, and template selection field. Sign in register a new account or sign in your account. Register, enter your email, username, and password, and tick to agree to Mango Animate's terms and privacy policy, so that you can register an account. Enter your email and password, and tick Remember Me and Auto Login to sign in to the software. Search field you can enter keywords to search templates within the software. Project Creation field. New project, create a new presentation project. Open project, open a saved project, and continue modifying. Template selection field. You can select a template to create a new project and quickly complete a presentation with simple changes and replacements. Now, let's take a look at the editor and its usage by creating a new project. Click, New Project. Select, Send DBG, or, Format. Click to create. Set the screen ratio and the number of paths. Select a background color. Click Create Design to enter the editor. File Editing field. You can back up the project, undo or redo operations, etc. in this area. Frame Selection field. You can add different types of frame to the canvas. A frame is equivalent to a slide in PowerPoint and can be resized at will in Mango PM. Drag a frame to the canvas and drag any point on its boundary corner to resize it. Frame Editing field You can adjust the frame's position. And transition between each frame. Main Toolbar You can add roles, charts, mind maps, links, animation, interaction, background, quick toolbar. You can rotate and zoom the canvas. and modify the screen ratio. Canvas. You can lay out the materials and design your page content in this area. The canvas can be scaled at will by rolling the mouse wheel, giving you boundless space for creativity. Save and publish area. You can preview, save, set, and publish your project. Multimedia field. You can add a lot of online multimedia materials and import your local materials to your project. Now we use Mango PM to create a simple presentation. Click New Project to create a new project. After entering the editor, set the background color. Click Image in the Multimedia field to add a local image to the canvas and resize it to fit the canvas.
Click Text, Add Text, and click the canvas to enter the text content. Or copy your prepared text content to paste to the canvas and set its font and typography. adding a frame and resizing it. A tutorial will be shown in this frame on how to add animation. Click Animation in the main toolbar. Click the image or text. Click Add Effect. Choose an effect. Set the trigger mode and duration of the effect. adding a frame and resizing it. A tutorial will be shown in this frame on how to add interaction. Click Interaction in the main toolbar. Click a material and click Add Interaction. Click a material as the trigger object. Click Add to set a trigger behavior. Click, save, and preview the effect. adding a frame and resizing it. A tutorial will be shown in this frame on how to create a mind map. Click Mind Map in the main toolbar. Select a mind map subject and click OK. Double click to enter the theme. Resize it and adjust its position on the canvas. Click Add Node to add branch topics and double-click it to enter your topic.
set node style and line color. Open and set the Traversal Preview. Click Preview in the Save and Publish area to preview the effect. After finishing the project, you can click Preview in the Save and Publish area. Click Save to save the project to your computer for further modification later. You can publish your project in several formats. Windows Application Format Presentation for directly shown in Win System without installing Mango PM. Video format can be shown in the form of video. HTML5 format can be displayed on the phone. Commonly, we will publish the project in Windows application format. Select a folder to save and enter the title and choose the computer version. Then click Publish so that you can publish your project as in Windows application file. 